well, well, here's Mama Bloom's brood. Just when Mama and Papa Bloom thought things were turning out exactly right and they would be able to take their trip to Hollywood with no worries on their minds, Harold and Sidney have talked Sam into retiring from the knee pants factory. Papa is now worried that the factory will not be managed correctly in his absence. Mama wants to go to Hollywood before Mrs. Fink gets there. Right now, Mama and Papa are at home, but are getting ready to leave for Yetta's home where they have been invited for dinner. Becky! 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 Patrick, Yetta, I'm back in the next room. But you're screaming like I was at the top of Peak's Pike. Pike's Peak, Mama. Pike's Peak. Mama, where are my shoes? Right there. I've already put them out for no, you. No, no, not those shoes, Mama. I want the soft ones. Jake, you're going to wear your good shoes. But, Mama, there's nothing wrong with the soft ones. Besides, they don't hurt my feet. Papa, please, I want you to look nice. Yet and Harold is inviting us over to their house for dinner so that they can say goodbye to us before we leave. But we are not leaving for two weeks, so we're going to say goodbye tonight. For two weeks, we will be saying goodbye, and when we do go, it will make us think we're coming back. <laughs> oh, Papa, please, don't be contradictionary. Ah. Very the good shoes so you look nice. Why should you... Jake, huh? you're putting on your whole shoes. I, I, I yeah? <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I'm making a mistake. A mistake, yeah. Yeah. But the new shoes right in front of you, you reach in the cupboard and pick out the whole ones. Now I'm going to sit right here until you put on the new shoes. But the mistake anybody can make, Mommy. Yeah, I know, Jake, yeah, I know, I know. You but know, only yeah. you could think of making such a mistake on purpose. Oh. When right in front of you all the time is the new pair of shoes. Mm. Now hurry up, Jake, huh? We'll be late at Yetta's and maybe Mr. Sue. All right, Mama, all right, all right. Now I'm ready. New shoes and all. Oh. <laughs> and I can tell you that all this evening I'm going to feel like I'm tied up in a straitjacket. That's foolish, Jake. People don't put feet in straitjackets. Yeah, well, this time you're wrong, Mama. My feet are in straitjackets. Come on, Mama, the car's in the driveway. All right, Jake. All right, lock the door, huh? All right, Mama, I'm locking it on this key. <laughs> Jake. Now what, Mama? Tie the shoelaces. Oh, please, Becky, please. When I get to Yetas, I will tie them. But let me have them open until we get there. All right, but don't forget. Don't worry, don't worry. Come on, come on, Mama, get in, get in. Yeah. <laughs> don't push, Papa. All right, get in. <sighs> <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama, you know something? <laughs> I'm hungry. You're hungry. Jake, there'll be six of us there tonight. Yeah. Yet will cook enough for six people. Yes, Mama. Not five people and one who eats like a donkey. A do Go ahead, Jake. They're late now. Mama, sometimes. All oh, right. You were never coming. Yeah. And you invited us yet, and we wouldn't sit you down. <laughs> you mean stand us up, Mom. Listen, we will talk inside. I want to sit down. Oh, sure. Sydney and Sally are in the living room. <laughs> Ain't Harold here? Oh, he'll be along. He had to stop and get some things. Come on. Hello, Mom. Hello, Sarah, yeah. darling. Oh, how nice you look. Yeah, nice. Nice on the outside, but on the inside, I'm pinched like a sardine. Hello, everybody. Hello, Sydney. How's tricks, Pa? I ain't got no time for tricks. I'm hungry. Well, we'll eat just as soon as Harold gets here. He just went to the delicatessen for some olives. Gee, Ma, you look swell, yeah. doesn't she, Sally? Oh, as beautiful as she can be. Say, Pa, you better watch Ma out there in Hollywood. Some movie producer's liable to see her and sign her up. Sign me up, Sydney? Uh-huh. What kind of talk is that? Yeah, they will sign her up and I will sign checks. 
Uh, Sydney. Yeah? Was there anything new before you left the factory? No, no, none of that. We huh? aren't going to talk business tonight. Uh, this is a party for you and Ma. Mm -hmm. Come on, Pa, take your coat and hat. Be <laughs> yours, Mama. <laughs> I'll go along with you. Come along, Ma. We'll be back in a minute. Okay. All right, Ma, I want to talk to you. <laughs> Sydney. Yeah? Uh, not so loud, not so loud. Quiet. And uh, did uh, Isidore Lieb come down on his prices? Oh, you mean for the material? Yeah, yeah. Well, don't you worry about that, Ma. Uh, He'll come down all right. Uh, but you got to forget business for a while. Give yourself a rest. you got it coming to you. Sydney, I don't like the way you said I got it coming to me. Mm. <laughs> well, never mind, Pa. You just have a good time while you're away and leave the business to me and Harold. To you and Harold? Oh, excuse me. Please, Sydney, I, I don't even like to think about it. <laughs> right now, Sydney, I'm hungry. But if you keep on saying things like that, I won't even be able to eat. All right, well, forget about it for a while. Yeah. We'll get everything straightened out later. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Mama? You ain't tied the shoelaces yet. Oh, the shoelaces? <laughs> I'm just going to tie them now, Mama. Yes. Ma? We're just dying to hear why you changed your mind all of a sudden and decided to go to Hollywood instead of Yellowstone. I'll bet she's going to try to get into pictures. Mm, I shouldn't live so long. Who would take care of Papa if I was acting at the movie? <laughs> oh, <Ma. laughs> but I want to go to Hollywood, so the trip will be a nice one for us. Well, I'll say. But why? You must have some reason, Ma. Sarah, your mama always has a reason for everything. Sometimes I don't understand it, and maybe Mama don't either, but she has got the reason all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to go to Hollywood. Should I think of a better reason for it than that? <laughs> oh, you're not fooling us, Ma. Come on, let's hear about it. Mm, all right, because Harold ain't here, I'll tell you. Harold? Well, what's Harold got to do with it? Yes, I'll tell you something. I will tell all of you something. Everybody but Papa. He knows what I'm going to say before I say it. I do. <laughs> it's the first time. Julieta. You shouldn't say a word about Mrs. Fink because she's your mother-in-law. Oh, I wasn't going to. Yet I don't say foolish things like that. Someday maybe you will want to say something. And then you'll remember what I'm telling you now. Maybe you'll get mad at her sometime. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me finish. Maybe you will get mad. But never say nothing that will hurt her feelings. Because she's Harold's mother. It's better always to not say ten voids than it is to say one. It's like the old saying. One void plays catchers with the other one. Pretty soon you say a hundred voids, each one voiced in the one before. So you have a fight. Mama, yet and Sarah ask you why you're going to Hollywood instead of the Yellowstone Park. So you talk about Mrs. Fink and what Yetta shouldn't say to her. I know that, Papa. You do? Yeah, but I'm getting around to what I'm going to say. I am going to Hollywood so that I am getting there before Mrs. Fink. Well, of all things. Yeah, so the cat jumps out of the box. Oh, Ma, it's things like that that make us love you. Here you are, all these years, pretending not to care what anybody else does or says. And now you want to get ahead of Harold's mother. Mm, so now you know your mama's like a million other people. We wouldn't want you any different, Mom. Uh, Yetta, you, uh, you won't tell Harold, huh? Oh, of course not, Mama. Not for the world. Oh, that must be Harold now. Well, I wonder why he didn't use it. Well, maybe now we will eat, huh? Papa, even in your daughter's house, you shouldn't be so hungry. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh. Sorry I had to take so long. Hello, Harold. Oh, my, how are you? Everything all right with you, Pa? Yeah, everything's all right, Harold. When the factory is closed up for the night and you and Sydney aren't running it, <laughs> I've got nothing to worry about. All right, everybody come into the dining good, room. Good, good, good. <laughs> Five minutes ago, you couldn't walk in the new shoes, Papa. Now you're getting up and running like a man in a 500-yard dish. Dash, Ma. And that's why I say dish. Maybe I'm hungry, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have your arm, Ma. This is an honor I don't often get. Sydney, stop being fancy. Uh, Madame Bloom? <laughs> oh, well, just this one. <laughs> Why, sure. After all, you're going away in two weeks, and we have to do this thing upright. Come on, everybody. Everything's ready. <laughs> well, there we are. Ma, you sit right here. Yeah. Pa, you yeah. sit next to Mom. Next to Mom. Now, Sydney, over there. Okay. And Sally next to here. Right. Harold and I are going to sit down here. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yes, uh, uh, what is all this business? The packages. Oh, those. Well... Oh, I guess there's something Santa Claus left a little early. You'd better see what they are. Yes, sir. Sarah, you didn't buy nothing for us. You can't have a going away without going away presents, Ma. Open them. You too, Pa. So now I'm not hungry. <laughs> Which one do I open first? Oh, it doesn't make any difference. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm feeling like a little girl with new toys. <laughs> I can't. Mama, is this a time you should cry? <laughs> They'll think you don't like to get presents, Mama. <laughs> like I'm not crying because I'm crying. I'm crying because there's no reason to cry. Oh. You open your packages. <laughs> All right, Ma. I, I, I... Oh, Ma. <laughs> pa. Oh, we, we thought you'd oh. like... <laughs> we thought you'd like what we got. Oh, I don't want to go away and leave such lovely people. 
people that is my own flesh and bones. Mama, Mama, look what I got. What a is? genuine leather valise. Oh, it's a Gladstone bag, Pa. Do you like it? Like it? Mm, that's fine leather. Uh, Sydney was at Holter. Oh, never mind that. Look at the inside. Places for extra suits, shaving kit, everything that the well-equipped traveling man should have. Oh, and, and my initials, J.B., all over everything, so some gunner shouldn't take it away. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, all of you. I... <laughs> Mama, what did you get? I'm so... I'm so... I don't know what to say, but now I couldn't say anything that would even be wrong. It, oh, oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. Oh, we thought you'd like Mama, it. Mama, what is it? Jake, don't be foolish. It's a... Uh, well, it's a... Uh, Sarah, tell them what it is. <gasps> All right. It's a combination case. You see, a place for your toilet articles, and right here, right here is the dress rack. You fold the dresses on the hanger so they won't get wrinkled. Oh, yeah. my, it's wonderful. For 25 years, I'm worried that when I take a trip, the dresses will get wrinkled. And now they won't. Oh, it's wonderful. Well, don't we even get kissed for oh, it? Oh, hey, darling, lots of time. <laughs> well, stand in line, everybody. Wait your turn. Yeah. 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 Wow. Hey, no, Mama. Bye. I'm so happy. I feel like I don't have my shoes on. Jake, yeah. you ain't got them on. Oh, no, Mama. Jake, don't put on the shoes. Oh, oh, let him have them on, Ma. After all, this is a celebration, and you should be able to enjoy it in color. Yes, of course, Mama. Oh, the phone. I'll get it, dear. Be back in a minute, folks. Go right ahead and don't worry about me. All right, All right Harold. Well, I, I guess we're ready to eat now, huh? Everybody sit down. Sydney, will huh? you lift the bags off the table and put them in the corner for me? Sure, sure. Go easy on my Gladstone. There. <laughs> there <we are. laughs> now for the feet, huh? Oh, Sally, will you give me a lift? Sure, you bet. Oh, shouldn't I help? Oh, nothing doing, Ma. This is your night off. We'll handle everything. All right, Sally, come on, let's right. go. Hey, everybody. I'm sorry, but I've got to leave for a few minutes. Maybe huh? about half an hour. You do? Oh, Harold. What's the matter? Oh, nothing, honey. You'll all excuse me for a while, won't you? Yeah. Harold, what's wrong? Well, nothing, really. It's just something that's come up suddenly. Sid, let me use your car, will you? Mine's in the garage and yours is in the drive. Sure, help yourself. Here are the keys. Oh, thanks. It won't take me long, folks. Yeah. Harold, you shouldn't be rushing off and leaving us to worry. What's the matter? Yes, Harold. Well, well, tell us, what is the matter? I've just got to say goodbye to somebody else. Somebody else? Yes, my mother and father are leaving on the morning plane for Hollywood. <laughs> 